I have been dreading getting this weapon done, but it's finally time for us to get the RGL camos. Now, these camos seem very simple compared to launchers in years past, but the main one I'm concerned about is the Forge Challenge, which is getting 25 or destroying 25 enemy lethal equipment. Meaning the only things we can really take out with it are like claymores, prox mines, and I think that's it. Because those are the only two lethal equipment you can put down. At least that I can think of off the top of my head. But before we can even get to that challenge, we need to get 25 kills with it, which I think I'm already like more than halfway there. And then for our gold challenge, we need to get 15 direct impact kills. Like that right there. Too bad we're not already on that challenge. But I got a feeling this is going to take a bit to do. So I brought in an AR here on my class for whenever I run out of ammo with the RGL. Or if whenever I'm waiting for somebody to put down something I can take out. So I might as well start getting progress with other weapons too. And then depending on how long this takes, I'm going to try to do the Storm Ender as well. Because for the Storm Ender, the hardest part of it probably is going to be getting the 25 kills with it. But it should be able to take down streaks pretty easily. It has some pretty insane range. I also came in here with Engineer on hoping that I might be able to see some Claymores or Prox Mines going down. But... I have a feeling after a few games, if we can't find any, I'm just going to have to start asking in chat. Get it done the gentleman's way. Oh, we got our 25 kills with it. Let's go. Now we just need to hit them directly. Oh, there we go. Just a few more of those and then the pain starts. Come on, who wants to eat a grenade in the mouth? This guy. Ooh. Oh, we're nailing these. Oh, disgusting. Oh, I'm a sharpshooter with this. Oh, let's go. That's gold. And now we really need to be on the lookout for enemy equipment. I said I was going to wait two games to ask people to start putting down prox mines and shit, but we'll see how quickly my patience fades. So far, I'm not seeing shit. I don't think people use any lethals on here besides like Semtex. But this kind of just reminds me of Cold War where there was like kill a certain amount of enemy ground streaks. And there was only two ground streaks in Cold War, which were the, the sentry gun and the RCXD. And some people would run the sentry gun every once in a while. You know, people would use it to, like, hold down parts of the map during, like, domination or, like, hard point or something. And you'd only really see RCXDs from people that just wanted to, you know, go through a little back area on Nuketown. Or people that got them from care packages. I would even run care packages myself just to throw them to the enemy team, hoping that they would be RCXDs or sentries. But this challenge is so specific because you need to take out enemy lethals. And the only two lethals you can put on the ground are the prox mine in the claymore i just really hate challenges that depend on what the other team is doing like it's different it's like get like 10 headshots like whatever it don't matter but things like getting kills behind cover or taking out a very specific thing it's just stupid that's not even like difficult to do you really have to like collaborate with the other team to get it done efficiently oh there's a cluster mine down does that count as a lethal uh, i don't think so either way it just took me out Oh, I just got destroyed 10 enemy equipment, but it doesn't say lethal equipment. It could be any kind of equipment. I feel like engineer don't work as well in this game because shipment's a very small map and I barely see anything down unless they're literally not putting anything down or it's getting destroyed immediately. I see like one trophy system every once in a while. And that's basically it. Every time I spawn in, I'm just immediately shooting every rocket from this thing. I wonder if I'll even have like a single progress towards this camo. Okay. That's our first game, and I have no idea if I got any progress. Please say we got a little something. Oh, we got 10? Really? I didn't see a single one. Okay. You know what? Maybe we don't need to ask. We'll see how far we can get without asking. I must have been taking out Semtex or something, because I only saw those and trophy systems on the ground, so I have no idea how I got any progress, but you know what? Let's not question it too much. Let's just shoot this to our heart's desire, and then the camo might pop up randomly. It must have, like, updated what counts for this camo at some point. Hear that? We just got, like, insanely lucky. This thing does need some fucking speed call, though. This reload is atrocious. There's no point in even throwing down my munition box. I'm usually dead before I can get it reloaded. Or another theory, maybe I'm killing people that have, like, lethals in their hand. Like, if somebody's about to throw a throwing knife or, like, they're, hold they're cooking a nade to throw. I guess we'll see after this game if it was a fluke or not. Depending on how much progress we have. Our luck had to have run out. If our last game's anything to go off of... We would already have like 10 to 15 more enemy lethal equipment taken out and we would have this camo. All right, the game is over. Let's see how many we got. Moment of truth. We got two more of that game. So yeah, we did get lucky. Damn, dude. All right, let's see how nice the COD community is. Can you guys put down Claymores and Prox signs? Question mark. We'll see how they respond. Nobody said shit. And I don't know if anyone switched to them. I'm just going to have to hope that they did and they did it silently. Oh, I just got clean sweep. So I'm definitely destroying equipment. 
I just don't know if it's counting. The last time we saw that calling card, we got a lot in the same game. This challenge is so confusing, dude. I don't know what's counting and what's not. I swear, if we're still at 12 after this game, I'm lost. Now we're at 20. What? All right, whatever, dude. I don't think I ever understand this camo challenge. I really had to get my hopes up right at the beginning that this might be easy. Just to dash them. Make me sit here and shoot all these rockets for nothing. <gasps> There's a prox mine, but I'm out of ammo. Respawn. Oh, what a fucking legend. I even asked this time. I only asked in that one game. I was met with crickets. Please throw more down. There's another one. Holy shit. Oh, we got it. Let's fucking go. Oh, what a fucking guy. Time to work on the storm ender. We need to completely switch gears here. All I need to do with this is kill. And if you've ever seen the storm ender, this thing does zero damage while shooting it. Like, look at this. Tickle them. He actually might have just came. So we're going to have to just melee everybody. And now our munition box is kind of obsolete. They have uh, like the smoke thing. Yeah, smoke airdrop. We'll, we'll throw that on. Well, we need to just melee 25 people with this. And after that, I think it's like take out 10 kill streaks. And then it's the, the 10 enemy lethal equipment, which also is going to be a struggle. Oh, we're going in with it. This might be the best melee weapon in the game. Huh? Oh, I have to destroy enemy equipment with it. I was just going for kills immediately. No wonder. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, now that we have that information, maybe we can get these camos done. I was kind of hoping it would be get kills with it, though. That'd be fun. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll ask in chat again. Let's save us some time. Can we all put down some equip? Nope equipment this is the real challenge here let's see i'm literally giving out free kills i just need people to put equipment down i'm just gonna keep shooting it until you know somebody puts something down i wish i could have emp that that semtex before it landed that'd be cool really turn that shit off but you know that's not how semtexes work fuck off it would be cool nobody's putting down equipment though i might have to back out of this game there's literally no equipment on the ground we'll try later i'm gonna try again and you guys Put down mines, please. We'll see if they, they answer the call. He said no. Fair. They weren't lying, though, when they said no. There hasn't been a single thing on the ground for me to destroy. All right, this game's a lost cause. I haven't given up, COD community. And y'all put down mines, please. We're bringing back the y'all. We'll, we'll try it on this crowd. I'll let them see me with the storm caller a few times so they know that I'm not a threat. See? Look, I'm just EMPing you. So instead, of course. Legend. Oh, what a fucking guy. I already put two down. Who's the one that said it? Maple. My favorite tree. What a guy. What's up, Maple? That's my guy right there. Beautiful. Oh, Maple. Maple. Throw him down, pal. Thank you. One more. Ah. Uh. Is that the camo? It is the camo. Let's fucking go. We just need kill streaks. Shout out, Maple. I'm glad I didn't give up on the community. There's good people out there somewhere. And there's kill streaks out there that need to be taken down. I'm calling some kill streaks, you shitters. Oh wait, Maple's on the other team again. You're not a shitter, Maple. I'll actually feed you kills so you can get kill streaks. I've actually been seeing a lot of the same players in my lobbies, like playing multiple games in a row. I think they they've tried to keep some of the same people in each lobby. I don't think they disband as much anymore. Oh, cruise missile! Yeah, bitch! Sit down. That's so cool. I've always wanted to shoot down a cruise missile. I've tried to do it with my guns too. It never worked until today. Come on. We got to be like one more UAV away from getting that camo done. Oh, there's the UAV. Sit down. No, 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 no. Nobody take that, that down. Oh, there's two of them. Quick little double kill. Fuck them. Let's go. We got gold. Now we can just destroy anything. But more UAVs would help. So keep them coming. Do these guys not know that you can put down equipment and call in streaks? Do they forget? Actually, you know what? Where are the lobbies where they're throwing me in games that have like four VTOLs up? Some enemy helos? Why do I not get those lobbies when I'm looking for kill streaks? Put me in a fucking game in progress where the team's getting smacked. That's what I want. I finally fucking put up a streak and somebody shot it down. I'm out of here. Oh, and it did give us a game in progress. No streaks up though. It's not that far in progress, but it's it's fine. I'll take it. Call some shit in, motherfuckers. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, just need like 15 more of those. Oh, we still have to play another game. What? We still need 12 more? Oh, maybe I need to play ground war or something to get the rest of these done. 
Because shipping seems good on paper. But these motherfuckers are not calling anything in. Or putting anything down. Yeah, let me leave. Let's go try something else. There's already a UAV for me right when we get in here. There's another one that I can't even get to. Don't you fly away on me. There we go. They spawn in UAVs in here like it's nothing. That's the way to do it. Dude, I wish the other team would have called in the swarm look at this you get it all done within like one shot that's actually heaven for getting score streaks it's actually so optimal to get into a game of ground war where your team's getting their ass beat oh and there's forged we're all done let's get the fuck out of here we are finally done with both the launchers this is what our rgl looks like with forged on it still don't really like this camo too much but it's very satisfying seeing it on here and on our storm ender. I'm pretty sure we're now like 12 or 10 weapons out of 36 to get priceless. So we're getting a little closer to Interstellar. We're getting kind of the, the more unappealing weapons out of the way first. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one later.